Barack Obama says he is the best candidate for the middle class. John McCain says not so fast. So who is right? Good morning, everybody. I'm Neil Cavito. Let's get the bottom line on these front runners, shall we? For the middle class, from Charles Payne and Tracy Burns, Adam Lashinsky, along with Mark Lamont Hill and David Nelson. Now, Charles, who would be the best candidate for the middle class. Right now, I'm leaning toward McCain. He's saying all the right things. And you know, on Tuesday, when Barack won, I listened to his speech, and I got to tell you, very charismatic. The speech started off very well until he started talking about going after Wall Street, going after the oil companies, going after drug companies. This is where the middle class jobs come from. You know, I think it's unfair or really a bad policy to say I'm going to help one class of Americans at the expense of another. I'm against discrimination of any kind, and that's a major, major no no. I think he's making a big mistake. Um, Mark Levon Hill. Well, the fear is that that will resonate class warfare. Um, say what you will of it. Does one candidate have an edge on w wooing the middle class? Uh, it's tough, man. I don't think either have done a really good job of articulating a middle class plan. Uh, obviously, McCain has sort of not said much, and neither has Obama. I agree with Charles to that extent. But I think Obama has been a little bit better because he's made uh, overtures toward the middle class by talking about tax credits, tax relief, uh, mortgage relief, uh, and things like that that I think will provide some sense of, of comfort for the middle class. Unfortunately, it is, it is at the expense of other classes. What do you think, Trace? Well, I think Mark's right. I mean, I think as far as outlining, I actually don't get a lot of McCain, out of McCain hearing that he's got any interest in this middle class at all. But Obama practically sat someone down and said, what do you want? Credits for college, this middle class tax credit or cut. He even went so far to say he's going to reform the bankruptcy laws. So if your medical expenses put you into bankruptcy, he'll relieve your debt to try to get you back on your feet. Now, granted, it's all rhetoric. It's all rhetoric. Right. But as far as the middle class goes, he is saying what they want to hear. But that's ironically that why I think McCain is better, because he's talking about broad strokes helping the economy, which should help everyone, whereas Barack is promising so many things he's not going to be able to deliver if he's elected anyway. Agreed, but if we are well, looking at the middle class. He first wants to get class. elected, right? <laughs> exactly, wants, get in and right. get elected. So, David, what do you make of that? Well, look, uh, Obama captures my heart on, on this one, but I got to tell you, you know, if, if you're looking for a plan and a sound economy, I got to tell you, McCain wins this round. Obama has a very populist message. Some of it's very true, but frankly, it's very short on details, very short on substance, and I think John McCain's plan is well thought out, and he's got some key bullet points they could really Give do me a something. a couple of those bullet points. Well, I don't just know just the are. one, just eliminating the AMT, that's going to save $60 billion that affects 25 well, million. Well, they both want to Yeah, but they both say right. that. They, well, they, you they, want they another did. point? I think, I think you got a brilliant stroke coming from John McCain with regards to expensing uh, technology and equipment spending. That will really, all in the first year, that will... That that's middle class, blue. that's hard for them to grasp. Most uh, exactly. people, you know... Obama's message is not about the middle class. It's about well, the look, very poor. But, but, you know, yeah. Adam Lashinsky, it's also about getting elected. And I'm not taking anything away from either guy saying they were Machiavellian, but they are politicians <laughs> trying to get the highest office. Exactly. And, and I think for the beginning... Adam's message... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Adam, but to you. I'm not announcing does that my message, candidacy yet. <laughs> does that message resonate more with Obama? Um, well, I think... I'm sorry. You know, Obama's Obama's message. He part of this is, de is definitions, Neil. We can. He talks about this. We talk about this as addressing the middle class. If you look at the specifics, like several thousand dollar tax credits, or payments for education, or allowing people who don't itemize their mortgage deductions, these really aren't aimed at the what I would call the middle class. It's aimed at lower income uh, people Absolutely. who are a lot of voters. Which which gets to your question: Is he trying to? To get elected. That's who I think Obama is appealing to. I, I think one of the biggest issues we haven't discussed is each candidate's uh, position on free trade. John McCain, McCain clearly is a free trader. Obama clearly is less of a free trader, especially in 2008. Well, he and just offered my opinion, saying something a little bit different. Go ahead, What's Mark. That? What were you he saying? He just offered saying something a little bit different. I mean, and, and I think it's wrong, but Barack Obama has pretty much said that he's not against free trade, but he just wants certain types of regulations, which in many ways would protect middle class jobs. So to that extent, I think, again, he is about the middle class. Right. Even well, if it is point, he's not, offering tax just... cr incentives to keep jobs here. And, and Adam's right. It's about semantics. You can't define the middle class anymore. I've semantics seen, running? Well, I've seen definitions of... Obama, of, I McCain. I didn't say Who's the semantics you under? I've seen definitions <laughs> of the middle class go down to as much as, you know, 35,000 and up. Or right. 35, you know, or is it, is it 100 grand? Like, no one knows what the middle class is anymore. A tax anymore. credit on the and first thousand dollars of income is not approaching the middle class. We're clearly right. going after the very poor. And in many cases, these people are not paying a lot of taxes. So I don't see how it helps the That's British not true, though. The class. tax credit is $4,000, and it's on a higher level of income. That's 
that's going to exactly. hit the middle class. Exactly. Middle class. Thing, particularly the lower yeah. spectrum. Mark, Mark to yeah. your point, here's the thing, particularly when it comes to this whole idea of protecting certain jobs. The greatest test study of this is Detroit. Look at what's happened in the auto industry, how we protected an industry where really salaries should have come down a long time ago, and they didn't. And we, what happened at the end of the day? More people have lost their jobs than have gained their jobs. We've lost our might. And if we use that as a template for all of our industries, imagine where America could be yeah, but in I'm, 10 years. But I'm not sure that the automotive industry is a comparable It's a case perfect example. It's no, a no, perfect no. Uh, protecting jobs that shouldn't have been protected. You can't pay someone $300 no, no, I, to I do agree. welding but if someone in the I, Philippines is going for $3. Right. I agree with. But that's the part I agree with. My, what I, where I disagree with is the idea that other industries are comparable to the automotive industry in that they should also not be protected. And I'm saying Obama's agenda is about protecting certifiable yep. middle class jobs. But, but, but you know you're just, what, we're know? getting a little off subject, guys. What I want to focus yep. on here is if you are the middle class and you are listening to this, and you're right, guys, this is an always changing definition. But if we just base it on who's getting these stimulus rebate checks, the 75000 if you're single, about 150000 if you're married, if that, if that is the vast era where we're defining the middle class, then yep. do you like the message out of Barack Obama more than John McCain or John McCain? I you? have to go with I John think you have on to this. Go to Obama. Clear, uh, no, you're go, wrong. Go ahead. Adam's <laughs> absolutely right. It's really geared more towards the lower income. If you're a true middle class American, frankly, John's message is going to affect your lifestyle and your standard of living far more. But John McCain is also one who was not for the tax cuts and then said he was and is now saying, I'll make a permanent, even though he wouldn't change his vote. Wouldn't the middle class look at that and say, y you have an inconsistent Yeah, record. but you well, that, can't, you can't paint the that with anxiety. a broad stroke, Neil. You need some real sound no, no. policies. I looked at a one page. Uh, a one-page printout from Obama's website, and it's just broad rhetoric. I mean, great message. Yeah, but great McCain, message. Right, right, but, but, but it's not. But one thing the the the, 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 let, let, let me bring Mark in here. He's the, on remote. Go ahead, Mark. No, I was going to say, the converse is McCain, who may offer a more direct and specific message for the middle class, but who changes it every two to three years based on the currents of the, of, of the political world. That's also a very dangerous position for the middle class to be, and I think there's a lot of people He would not that, be the first candidate to do that. <laughs> no, there's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. But then McCain offered this, wants to cut the difference or give people the difference if they get laid off and they have to take this lower income job. I mean, it's it's almost silly. You're going to give me a check because I get laid off and I got to go work at Burger King. <laughs> but to, it, I, as I far as the middle class goes, I don't think McCain is addressing but, their needs. But to answer Neil's all. point, I think right now Barack probably has captured the imagination of the so-called middle class yes. more so than John McCain. McCain is going to have to get out there and articulate a message that says, you know what, we have to do certain things. I can't give you everything you want. I can't be your father who, you know, like the stepdad or the father who only sees his kids every other weekend and just shower you with gifts to make you like me, which is what Barack is offering. And people want it right now. They lo they're they loving it. They're filling up. You know, listen, look at the turnout. Look at the, the crowds right. when he speaks. So obviously Charles, his message are, is resonating. You are on to a very important point, and that's why I bring up the issue of protectionism. What we're discussing here is, is it best for the middle class to protect their jobs? I think not. I think if you try to protect their jobs, that's the worst thing okay. for the economy. Makes us a competitive class, nation. But voters might not think so. Well, uh, yeah, around November, they might not think so. It's what happens after. And thank you, guys. <laughs> um, all right. My Fox on the Spot is, if you like big government, uh, you're going to love these next couple of weeks, because I see politicians tripping over themselves with follow-up plans that make the stimulus package they already agreed on look downright stingy. My only annoying question is I think we should all be asking as taxpayers, how the hell are we going to pay for all of this? That, that's my big worry, Charles. I mean, uh, It sounds like we might get two more before the elections. I mean, the rhetoric I heard this week, it really sounds like uh, they're already apologizing for this plan not working. All right, and now we have out of Barack Obama, $800 billion in planned 10-year mm -hmm. spending. Out of Hillary Clinton, $500 billion. And away we go. I don't know, Trace. Me neither. I don't know where the money's coming from. It's Bill's going to start children. performing. It's your our money. Children. <laughs> it's our your children. Money.